despite evidence to the contrary, Rita Matubian is not a terrorist. To the best of my knowledge, it began with an invitation from her neighbor to a Rosh Hashanah dinner. I've always found it interesting, the phrase, the least I can do. If it's the least you can do, why not do more? As I see it, if you do the least, you'll live the least life. But if you do the most, you'll live the most life. As she listened, Rita realized how from so much, she had become so little. In 1949, Rita's grandfather fought to nationalize the British-owned Anglo-Persian Oil Company. The police report states his death was caused by a malfunction in the machinery. His body was found several days later. In 1979, Rita's uncle, Rostem, a Marxist and revolutionary, was found dead. The report states he died by his own hand at 769 Jalet Street. Rostem's death radicalized Rita's father, Ruzba, but Ruzba's prayers could not stop Saddam Hussein's bombs, and by 1980, Iran and Iraq were at war. As war raged on, Ruzba was enlisted, but his family would be unable to bury him. All that was found was his right hand. The decision was made. Ruzba's only child would be sent to live with her father's uncle in Los Angeles. I'm Chad. Hold on. Please. What, uh, what's her name again? Roshanak. No, 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 no. We'll call her Rita. Sweetie, do you know Rita Hayworth? But this Rita? did not grow up to be the kind of woman who demanded the spotlight. I can't believe it's only five o'clock. I just need to turn these into Jonathan, and I think we can still make happy hour at Acapulco. Hey, hon. You're sitting on my cardi. Mostly, she was a loner. That is until the night Gail Feinstein invited her to a Rosh Hashanah dinner. Rita realized if she wanted to have the most life, she'd have to start doing the most. Like her namesake, she would become a glamorous woman. Yes, uh, can I speak to someone in customer service? I think I bought the wrong kind of peroxide. She would be the type of woman who traveled. She would be the kind of woman who could cultivate a garden. And instead of spending her Saturday nights alone, drinking Coca-Cola and eating olives. You gonna eat those? She would become the type of woman who could host a lovely meal. Do you read that article about Pete Weber in the New Yorker? Apparently he's the new bad boy of bowling. I'm making my 
Mother's Afternoon Fondue. Oh, you're gonna love it. It's divine. away last year. Oh. I was just trying to have some company. We're heading down to get a drink. You want to join us? I've still got things to do. What? My investigation proves the suspect's actions at 119 Garden Terrace prior to the explosion on the night of September 12th, 2002, were not acts of terror, but rather acts of self-improvement. In conclusion, the U.S. government no longer considers Rita Matubian a terrorist. She is, however, a person of interest. 